Hey everybody, it's Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. In today's video, I'm going to cover a really important topic if you are traveling to Egypt, and that topic is tipping. I'm gonna talk about in this video my philosophy behind paying tips in Egypt, and then I'm gonna go over different people you might work with when you're in Egypt, like tour guides and drivers and hotel porters, and how much you should tip each of those people. Before we talk about tipping in Egypt, I wanna remind everybody watching this video that I offer customized itineraries for your Egypt adventure. I can connect you with local drivers and guides to help you out in your time in Egypt. And I even lead tours myself and I'm available for private groups. So shoot me an email today, egyptadventurestravel at gmail.com and let's start planning your trip to Egypt. And now on to talking about tipping in Egypt. In Egypt, lots of people who work in the tourism industry rely on tips for their income. I'll just give you an example. A tour guide who's working for a large company and has groups of people might only get paid as little as 30 US dollars per day, sometimes maybe even a little bit less depending on the company, sometimes more, but that tour guide will probably take more than double of that income home, if not more, from the tips that they receive. Tipping is very, very, very important to the livelihood and the financial status of pretty much every Egyptian who works in the tourism industry. This is different from a lot of places in the United States. In the United States, we might not be as accustomed to paying tips in as many different situations as one would be expected to tip in Egypt. So that's why it's really important before you go on your trip to just know when and how much you should tip people so that you make sure that you're treating people in Egypt with the dignity and the respect that they deserve for the work that they do opening up their country and their hearts to you. My very first time in Egypt 10 years ago, I was a student, I had very little money, and I really looked down on this system of paying tips for everything because I felt like I was just getting nickeled and dimed everywhere I went. But then years later, when I moved to Egypt and worked as a teacher there and traveled extensively throughout the country, I realized that tipping is something that is totally different in Egypt than it is in the United States in that the reason why a lot of things seem like they're really affordable is not just because of the cost of living in Egypt being lower than in the US, but it's also because the price does not reflect how much somebody should make, including tips. So you might say, oh, this tour guide is charging a really, really small amount of money for this trip. Well, that's because they're expecting to get paid a tip. That's just something that people are used to. That's the way the system works. So we can't really do anything to change the system. If you try to change a system by just not tipping or tipping less, all that's going to do is it's going to harm the everyday people who are taking care of you in Egypt. So I always encourage people who are traveling to Egypt to tip often and to tip generously. I want to remind people traveling to Egypt or maybe people traveling to Egypt don't know this, that we have so much economic privilege coming from countries like the United States or countries in Europe or Canada or Australia and traveling to Egypt because the salaries that we make and the economic means that we have in countries we come from, it, it doesn't even hold a candle to the amount of money that someone can expect to earn in Egypt. And yes, cost of living is a lot cheaper in Egypt from the US, but just to give you an example, I know a lot of Egyptian people where they make about 150 $200, maybe 300 US dollars per month salary. So if you compare that, if you could imagine, even with a cheaper cost of living, living off of $300 a month, it really puts things into perspective and it really shows that a small tip of $10, $20, $5, $1, depending on to whom you're tipping, really goes a long way. I might sound a little preachy about all this, but I love the people of Egypt. I love working with tour guides and drivers and everyone who takes great care of tourists and people I work with. So I wanna make sure that we are really giving back and taking good care of the people who take care of us. Now, on to talking about when to tip and how much one should tip. I recommend tipping everyone that a traveler encounters 
who offers them some sort of service or benefit during their time in Egypt. So this could include people like your tour guide, your driver, the person who carries your bags at the hotel, somebody who handles your luggage at the airport, like a person who carries your bags through security and puts them on a cart for you, you know, that type of thing. Somebody who helps you out on a cruise or who helps you at a meet and assist through the airport, waiters at restaurants. The list goes on and on and on. So I have a blog post that's linked in the video description that has a pretty exhaustive list of who people should tip and how much they should tip them. And one quick caveat before jumping into how much to tip people. I get asked all the time, should I tip in US dollars or euros or British pounds or should I tip in Egyptian pounds? And I always tell people that the best thing to do is just to tip in a way that's going to allow you to do it conveniently and generously. Sometimes it's hard to have all of the small bills that are required to tip to different people like bathroom attendants or porters who carry bags. So then it's a good idea if you have a lot of $1 bills, for example, to use those in these situations or if you have something small like a 10 pound bill or a 20 pound Egyptian pounds, not British pounds, a 20 Egyptian pound bill, that's a great tip. Bathroom attendants really usually only need one Egyptian pound. Sometimes you could give up to five Egyptian pounds for those people. But tipping in local currency is the best way to tip because the person getting that can turn around right away that day and use it to buy food at the market, transportation to get home. When you tip them in foreign currency, the Egyptian person has to then go to an exchange office or a bank, and it can be a tedious process. If they're getting tipped every single day, they might need to wait until they've stockpiled enough currency to go in. So I always recommend tipping in local currency when possible, but if it's going to be really convenient and it's going to allow you to tip more generously if you're using your home currency, by all means, go for it. The one thing you make sure you, the one thing you want to make sure you don't do is never tip people in foreign coins. You can't exchange foreign coins. So keep your foreign coins at home, but you can tip in foreign cash if you want to. Now on to talking about some specific people who are going to help you in Egypt and how much to tip them. I recommend tipping tour guides. Those are gonna be probably your number one person to tip, and that's gonna be the highest tips that you give on your trip. Depending on the level of service that they offer you, I recommend tipping them between 200 pounds for the day at a bare minimum to up to 400 Egyptian pounds, 500 Egyptian pounds for the day. If you are an individual in a tour group, I would make sure to tip at least 50 Egyptian pounds to 100 Egyptian pounds per person per day, just depending on the size of the group. If, you know, if you're a giant group of 30 people, a tip of 50 Egyptian pounds is wonderful. Versus if you're just four people, I would recommend tipping a little bit more than that. And of course, it really depends. You might have a tour guide who's charging you a very, very small amount of money for the trip then you'd want to tip them a lot more versus if somebody's already charging you, let's say 120, 150 US dollars for the day, you wouldn't need to tip them as generously as somebody who's charging far less. Drivers are another person you probably will have helping you with your trip to Egypt. I recommend tipping drivers a minimum of 100 Egyptian pounds per day, up to 250 Egyptian pounds per day, depending on the level of service, depending on how long they're with you that day. And also again, depending on the cost, if you hired that driver and you're paying them a lot of money for the day versus somebody who you're paying a lot less money, of course you want to adjust your tip accordingly. There are gonna be people who might meet you at the airport and do a meet and assist if that's part of your tour package. So they'll walk you through customs, they'll get you into your car to drive you to your hotel. They might even go with you to your hotel and help you get checked in. I would recommend tipping that person maybe 150 to 250, maybe 300 Egyptian pounds for the group, just depending on how much they do for you, how long they're with you, what type of hassles that they have to encounter in order to get you through the airport or get you checked in. Again, if you're with a large group of people, a tip of 50 Egyptian pounds per person would be very generous to the person who's doing the meet and assist or helping you get checked into a hotel. I already talked about people who are involved in a really small way, like a bathroom attendant who gives you a paper towel to help you dry your hands, 
or somebody who carries your bags um, at the hotel. Bathroom attendants, I recommend one to five Egyptian pounds. Uh, hotel porter, I would recommend between 10 to 20 Egyptian pounds, depending on how many bags or if they had to carry them up flights of stairs or across a resort, that type of thing. At restaurants, they will add a service charge onto a lot of bills, but I don't trust that that charge actually goes to the servers at the restaurant. So I often will either round up the bill, I'll tip 10%, I might tip 20%. Again, just depends on the level of service, but I always leave a tip at pretty much all restaurants. Street food vendors, I don't often tip. Um, maybe a couple of ch pounds change if I can or if I have it on me. But getting served at a sit-down restaurant as a foreign tourist, I always leave a tip, usually 10 to 20%. And there are lots of other scenarios where you might be asked to tip or where you might feel like a tip is warranted. Like let's say you're in a tomb in the Valley of the Kings and you're the only person there and the guard really makes sure that you walk around and see everything there is to see. A tip of 10 Egyptian pounds to that person is appreciated. Sometimes you just kind of have to feel it out and you have to just think about, okay, what value did this person add to my trip? And what's something I can give them that for me might only be one or two dollars equivalent, but for them would really help them out and would really show some appreciation for their opening up of their country to me as an outside tourist. And finally, I want to talk about who I don't tip in Egypt or who does not expect a tip. I don't tip people who operate public transportation. So if I'm taking a public bus, if I'm taking the metro, if I'm taking a microbus, I would never tip anybody in that situation. I don't tip police officers or military personnel. Sometimes there might be a security officer from the police or military who escorts you around for the day, depending on what part of Egypt you're in. And it would be nice to tip that person 50 Egyptian pounds, for example. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, just depends on the situation. I feel like they're a police officer or military, so tipping them just feels really strange to me, almost kind of like paying a bribe, so to speak. But other times I do feel like it's warranted depending on how much that person is with me or with my group or what type of service that they offer. Like maybe they help us get through a lot of security checkpoints, for example. But I don't tip public transportation folks. I usually don't tip police or military. And then I usually don't tip at like small restaurants where I'm doing kind of street food takeaway type thing. And I never, ever, ever tip somebody at a shop where I'm making a purchase. So there you have it. I gave you an overview on my tipping philosophy in Egypt. I talked about who to tip, how much to tip. Remember, there's the blog post below with a more exhaustive list. And then I also talked about who I don't tip when I'm in Egypt. I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know in the comments section if you did a trip to Egypt and how much and to whom you paid tips or what your thoughts are about the tipping culture. And you can always email me to help you out with your Egypt adventure. I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. Thanks Check for watching. Check us out on Instagram or Facebook at Egypt Adventures Travel or go to www.egyptadventurestravel.com.